let's start to look at the content browser. This alone is worth the price of admission in my mind. Um, so, uh, so if you look here at the new, first of all, the new menu, you notice they group these into like sections, data, explore, present, kind of map matches what you have in the quick launch. Um, also jobs. So, you know, again, as they add new things in here, could be categorized under these categories. I don't know anything about that for sure. I'm just, makes sense. I hope that's what they do. Now, when you click on content, you notice the flyout menu is gone. The ever expanding flyout menu has been banished uh, finally. And now we have something that it, to my mind looks a lot like Cognos 10, right? Here's my, uh, my folders and my public folders, my, my content and my team content. And it's organized logically. Uh, it doesn't, it doesn't squish the names. So you can have very long names now, you know, the problem with Cognos 11 forever has been, if you have a report with a, sometimes longer than 10 or 12 characters, if it's very deeply nested in the folder structure, the whole thing will get crunched out. Um, I see, you know, so a lot of that's been solved here. I see a lot of questions about event studio, um, legacy studios. We'll talk a little bit more about them later. Um, however, the. They're all still here, right? So nothing has been removed. Um, as far as breadcrumbs are concerned, like let's take a look. If I click on samples uh, by feature, core, data, you can see here's your breadcrumbs, right? Um, so that's all there. Uh, can you add folder specific tabs for user group? Yeah, I believe you can. Um, you, so you can add new tabs to this screen and they can be visible to different user communities. Um, the, but you can see it's, it's all here, right? Um, now I love this so much more and, and let me show you why. So a couple of things that I like here, let's go back up to team content, um, and take a look at the, for like some of the features here. So first of all, the options, you've got this options bar, they're always visible. Okay. So they're not hidden behind anything. They're always here. Um, and then if you click on the tiles view, you can see these laid out in tiles instead of as a list. Now, is this good or is this bad? Well, it really depends. This is how Power BI looks. This is how Tableau looks, right? Things are not listed as, um, as lists. Uh, they're listed, they're like in tiles, right? Um, and so you have a tiles view. Your users who are more familiar with that sort of stuff will um, will see the, the you know, they can switch it to the tiles view and leave it there. And one of the beautiful things about this is that the, um, is that it remembers the settings you put in here, okay? So like, let me change the sort order here. Um, so let's just go descending, right? I changed in descending sort order, okay? And now I'm gonna like navigate away. Okay, and now let me navigate back to the content, it's still in the same sort order. Um, let's go ahead and like, if I were to log out, uh, let me just do that here. No, I haven't tested this. I've been told this, I haven't tested it. Um, so let me log out, right, and go back in. Oh, it looks like it didn't save the sort order. See, I was told it did, um, but in any case, uh, it remembers a lot of the settings when you're in a session in here as you do things. Like if you navigate away and you come back to the content, it's on the page you were looking at before, right? Uh, it's not, you know, in the past, you would navigate away from the content windows. And then when you went back to the content windows, like you'd have to start over from scratch. It remembers where you were now. Um, you've got lots of options in here as for what to do. Now, can you do a custom sort order? I don't believe so. Uh, I don't believe so. If you, if you can, I, I haven't seen it in here. Um, but there's other things to really like about this. Now, I, I'm a Cognos, old school Cognos guy. I like list view. So a couple other things to note. Let's take a look here at the uh, what we have up here. So, for example, let me go into sales reports. You'll notice in the upper right-hand corner, we've got upload data and new. And one of the things I love about this is if I click click the upload data button, Okay, and then I navigate to a uh, something I want to upload, like um, 
Oh, let me just grab something. Say, where did I put that? Uh, demo assets, American Time Use. Okay. When I upload this, it's going to put it directly into the folder I, that I had open where I clicked the upload data button. So again, things that are just basic, simple, not a revolutionary new feature, but very make it very easy to use. Um, I, the same thing, you know, we have the new button and when you click the new button, it's all the stuff that you as a user have the ability to build, just like in Cognos 10 when there was a new button in the upper right-hand corner. Other things to, to note here. Um, yeah, it's not just dumped into my content, uh, B.I. Dude Jr. It's, it goes... It goes where you are, where you click the upload button. Uh, very nice. I see a lot of questions about, are there under the hood changes, improvements to SSO, um, that sort of stuff. Yes, there are. I mean, SSO, I'm not, I'm not sure if there are or not. Um, there are under the hood changes that we're gonna talk about a little bit later. So uh, the other things I really love about this. So when you click on any individual item, you get this blue menu of like, what can you do to this, right? So open, share, add shortcut, copy or move, delete, right? You, It's easy to multi-select now. You know, in the past, people didn't even realize they could uh, multi-select, right? Like like you would, there was nothing in the Cognos UI to tell you you could do a multi-select. Um, that is easy to do now uh, by multi-selecting these. And you can do things like, uh, like multi-select, um, you know, you can, of course, we've got the menu here, all the things you can you can do. Like in this case, it's a data source. So here's all the stuff I could do with a data source. Um, now, if you, you get the, a menu when you right click too, this is another thing I like, right? You get this options when you right click. So you don't have to click on the little action menu on the side. You can right click on any of these and get the, the same menu that you would get by clicking on the more menu. So that, that I really love too. You can also, if you multi-select these, um, you'll notice that you have the option to create a new job. So you can multi-select the things that you're interested in and then create new job and it'll take you into the job building interface and automatically add those things to it. So very nice. Now that I'm in this job building interface, I wanna point out that the switcher at the top has moved and it's actually gotten a, nice, a lot nicer too. So we'll take a look at that uh, in a moment as well. Now, let me go back to my content. And again, remember where I was. So simple, so nice. Uh, what else did I want to show you guys here? Um, it remembers where you are. You got specific options on click. Yeah, so, I mean, this kind of covers the, the overall look and feel of the content navigation. It is a gargantuan improvement uh, in my mind.